Hey everyone, what is going on? And welcome back to another Shellcast. So before we begin, let me know, will you be continuing to play the Open Great League today or the Weather Cup when it begins at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time? I'm definitely going to be trying out the Weather Cup just to see how it is. I may go back to Open Great. I'm not really sure. It depends how much I like the Weather Cup. But either way, that's not what this video is about. We're taking a look at a Cantonian Sand Slash. Very cool. I mean, it has a good move set, right? Mud Shot, Night Slash gets to the Night Slash really fast, and then Earthquake. So it does have a good move set. So we'll see how these battles go. We also have Noctowl and Goliath. Um, Stunfisk on the team as well. So let's go ahead and dive right into these battles. We're going to see a shield protecting yourself from that um, from that ice punch that would have KO'd. Able to get off the sky attack, but will the opponent shield or will they let this go? They do go ahead and shield, but this Noctowl did build up two uh, sky attacks, so going to be able to get off another one, and that is going to KO. So able to take switch and shield advantage, that is huge. Um, okay, so... This is totally fine. This is a Shadow uh, Cantonian Sand Slash, by the way, because Surf is super effective towards both Pokemon, but you have Earthquake on both Pokemon, right? Um, so, yeah, gonna go ahead and switch into the Galarian Stunfisk and save that energy um, to be able to get that Earthquake off later. So this should be a win here, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and go for the Rock Slide. You do need, like, three Rock Slides to KO the Nocturne. Not Yeah, you definitely do. Um, but that is okay. They're going to be able to throw another attack. Totally fine. Uh, this is going to be um, a sky attack, but that's not going to do much. Able to get off this uh, uh, rock side right now. This rock side is going to connect. You just need one more to KO. And if they get to an attack, like a Shadow Ball, I don't think Shadow Ball is enough to knock out. But we'll see. Um, they actually go for the sky attack. That's certainly not enough. Maybe Shadow Ball would have been enough. But they bring in the lantern and out comes a sand slash so it can go for this earthquake. I imagine this KOs. It does KO. Beautiful. And trying to get to a night slash. Able to get to it. This is going to KO the Noctowl. And that is going to be a great win. Very well played to both trainers. So Cantonian sand slash. Very cool to see. You know most of the time. Not that the Alolan version is that common, but you do see, especially in themed cups, um, it's definitely around, right? Um, but the Cantonian one you, like, never see. But let's go ahead and see how this battle plays out. They do save swap into a Dunce boss. Okay, Dunce boss is pretty good. It's pretty decent. Um, you do have to watch out for the Rock Slides via the Noctel. Uh, but obviously the, the Goliath Stunfisk would have to watch out for the Drill Run. Um, do you go, do you switch in? I guess you just stay in, just gonna go ahead and just stay in here. So we're gonna go ahead and shield this attack. It's going to be a rock slide. Uh, of course, I mean, now in comes this sand slash. Sand slash is gonna go ahead and go for the night slash right now. It gets to night slash so fast. It really, really does. Uh, almost enough to KO, maybe mud shot down. I mean, this is not gonna KO the sand slash, but let's see how much it does. It's probably gonna do a good amount. Yeah, it does about 50%, a little bit over, but able to farm that down, very nice. Um, and in comes Pelipper, gonna go ahead and go for the Night Slash, just gonna spam out these Night Slash attacks. Um, and, yep, yeah, uh, does pretty decent damage, actually, to the Pelipper. Able to get to another one, yeah, I mean, Sand Slash, able to get to those Night Slashes super, super fast. Obviously, you are, you are weak to, uh, Weather Ball, but they just farm down. Uh, so Noctowl coming in, gonna immediately click on the Sky Attack right now. Uh, Goliath Stunfisk doesn't, I mean, it, it does have play. Um, against Pelipper. It doesn't really like it though because the Weather Balls are doing so much damage. And we're seeing the, the Alolan version of Sand Slash. Let's go. Okay, they're going to be able to throw an attack. It's just going to be an Ice Punch. No need to shield. You kind of want to save the shield for that Pelipper in the back because a couple Weather Balls will be able to KO. Um, so, like, you, you can take one, but you really can't take two at this range. So gonna go ahead and take this one and try to get to a rock site able to get to it not before they throw a weather ball but that's why you have the shield and we're gonna go ahead and shield this one up and the rock slide should pick up the knockout against Pelipper Pelipper pretty frail so uh, this is definitely enough to KO as it is and that is gonna be a great game very well played to both trainers moving on moving on we'll see how the next game goes it's gonna be Noctowl into Swampert okay 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 I mean you'd rather see this in the lead right for sure you don't want the back line to see Swampert at all so this is totally fine you could take two Hydros right I mean I, yeah I mean it should be I mean, this is a non-shadow you could yeah you could take two from a shadow I guess you wouldn't be able to but Noctowl is gonna be able to go for this uh, sky attack right now and that will pick up the shield um, do you let this one go? No, nope, gonna go ahead and shield it. You could let it go because it, it would be very difficult for them to mud shut down, but gonna shield that. 
I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Shadow Ball now. Shadow Ball uh, does more damage. It's a better move than Sky Attack, so it's gonna do more damage, but they do actually shield that. Uh, gonna go ahead and actually shield this as well. So let's see if they make it to another attack or not. Uh, I think they do. Yeah, they do, but you, you do live it. And it, it would be very difficult for them to mud shot you down, right? So um, it, it might be possible, but the Sky Attack is coming out. Um, hmm. And very nice. Oh, okay, yeah, that just KOs. Very nice income scum. Now you're going to go ahead and switch into the Sand Slash. Uh, obviously, you want them to switch out, so you have the Galarian Stun Fisk on that Skarmory, but they're not switching out. Um, so good play by the opponent there. They're just going to go ahead and throw an attack. Sky Attack will do a lot. I, I, it probably doesn't KO. It doesn't, but they probably, yeah, they can farm down. But we'll see. Hopefully, the Galarian Stun Fisk has play against whatever's in the back. Uh, that does not KO. No, can't get to another one. But you do put it low, so in comes the Galarian Stun Fisk. They are continuing to stay in. Um, yeah, just gonna farm up. If they throw the Brave Bird, uh, uh, Rock Slide definitely KOs. If they don't throw the Brave Bird, it might not KO. And they bring in their own Stun Fisk. Okay, okay, this should be a win here because you, you go for the Earthquake, it doesn't KO. But you're gonna be able to get to a Rock Slide before they get to their Earthquake. No, just gonna catch it even better. I was thinking of that possible catch. Beautiful catch. Oh my gosh, what a great catch. Well, I might upload that as a YouTube short at some point just because that was a beautiful catch. Uh, well done there. Um, rock Slide is coming out. And now this Rock Slide. And this might not KO the Skarmory, but uh, even if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, it does not KO. Yeah, I think that catch actually mattered, to be honest. But anyway, well played. Great game. Let's go ahead and move into the next battle. We do have Noctowl into Toxic Croak. Definitely a positive matchup here. They're going to go ahead and switch into Alteria. Out comes Galarian Stunfisk. This is great alignment right now. Uh, you, you easily win this one. Of course, it does take like three Rock Slides to KO the Alteria because Alteria is, you know, similar to Noctowl is so tanky. Um, so they're going to be able to throw an attack. But you, you resist all these attacks. So like it, this is a better matchup than if they had the Noctowl, right? Um, so... Although I guess the Dragon Breath is adding up, but you could still easily take it. Gonna go ahead and go for the Rock Slide right now. Uh, and you just need one more, maybe an Over Farm. Uh, yeah, just definitely gonna go ahead and Over Farm because you can take this attack. Moon Blast, Sky Attack, you can take it all. It's gonna be Moon Blast. Although it does get you pretty low, but um, that's actually good. So they don't get as much farm on the Toxic Croak, right? So that's gonna go, that's good. That's good. They're gonna faint. Able to get to another Rock Slide, which is nice. Nice chip damage. Um, it is resisted, but it's still, I mean, decent chip damage there. Might as well take it. Uh, and they're going to switch out into Pelipper. Ooh, that's a little bit scary, actually, because the Sand Slash does not like Pelipper at all. So, because the Weather Balls are super effective. So, kind of have to stay in here. Uh, they're going to be able to throw an attack. It's probably a Weather Ball, but we're going to see a shield from the Noctel, and it is a Weather Ball. And the Sky Attack is coming out right now. And this is going to pick up that shield very nice. And they're going to be able to throw an attack. Do you shield this? Yep, going to go ahead and shield it. So Noctowl will protect itself. Uh, and going to go ahead and go for the Sky Attack. But not before they get off another Weather Ball. So this is going to get it low. But honestly, the Sand Slash probably does have play against Toxic Cook, to be honest. Do you switch out right after this attack? Because you want to get ahead on energy. Oh no, they switch out. Okay. Oh no, they fainted. Okay, so they, they fainted. Going to go ahead and go for the Night Slash. I guess the Sand Slash couldn't reach the Earthquake. That's why they're going for the Night Slash. Um, now we do see an attack right now. Obviously, it's going to be Mud Bomb. Is it enough? No, it's not enough. And the Sand Slash will be able to farm down. They both KO each other at the same time. But that is going to be a win. Very well played. 12th trainers. Let's go ahead and move into the next battle. We do have Noctel into Bastiodon. Definitely not a good matchup. Gonna go ahead and go into the Sand Slash most likely. Uh, no, gonna go ahead and go into the Stun Fisk. Okay, uh, so in comes Superior. Superior will be hit with this Rock Slide. Can you flip this match? If you could flip this matchup, this would be good, but I, I don't know if you could flip it against Superior. Superior is so tanky, and they're gonna be able to spam these attacks. Um, now, let's see what it is. Is it Leaf Tornado, Frenzy Plant? It's Frenzy Plant doing so much damage. Um, and we're going to see this Rock Slide come out. Uh, I feel like you can't flip this matchup. They do actually shield, though. Um, yeah, the Superior definitely wants to win Switch. It would be amazing to flip it, uh, but I don't think you can. We're going to see a shield right now, and we're going to see a Rock Slide come out from the Galarian Stunfisk. 
Um, and this is going to pick up that shield. Now the switch into Noctowl. They're going to be able to pivot back out into Bash Diodonna, which is, is really scary. But because of how bulky Noctowl is, I don't know if they can really farm down. Maybe they can, but they'll be taking a lot of damage in the process from the Shadow Ball. Because Shadow Ball is neutral. Uh, they do sneak into Smackdown, which is unfortunate. But we're going to see this uh, Shadow Ball come out. Um... Can this Noctowl make it to another one? No, it's not going to be able to make it to another one. It wouldn't have KO'd, but it would have been nice to get to that other one. Uh, in comes Sandslash. Sandslash will be hit with this attack right now. Um, and it's going to be a flamethrower doing so much damage. Oh my gosh. Uh, they're going to be able to go for an attack right now. We're going to see a shield. I would love to see a Mudshot farm down, which actually I feel like you have to go for. Yeah, that's exactly what the Sandslash is going for. Very nicely done. But what's coming in? Oh, is that a Jellicent? I think that was a Jellicent. It's going to be hit with a super effective Night Slash attack. Loaded energy. It is a Jellicent. Oh my gosh, the boost? This is going to KO. The boost? This is going to KO because of that boost. No doubt about it. Um, and out comes Superior. Going to go ahead and go for another one. Oh my gosh, the boosted Sand Slash. The boosted Sand Slash. That is going to be enough to KO. And that is going to be a beautiful win. Very well done and very well played to both trainers. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.